With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. So in this question on a straight line passing through the foot of a tower, uh, two points C and D at a distance of 4 meter and 16 meter from a foot respectively, if the angle of the elevation from C and D of the top of the tower okay are complementary then the foot uh, the, the height of the tower we have to find it out so that's the question okay so as you can see is in this figure so let's say these are the, these are the two points uh, this is the foot of the tower okay which is uh, let's say b and a so this is a tower and this b is the foot of the tower of course and from the foot of the tower let's say d uh, sorry that's c and d these are the two respectively points and these two points are having a distance of uh, this is a uh, force like meter okay and this distance which is of from the point b to the d that is of 16 meter okay right is to it so isn't this way uh, these are the two distances uh, from the point b that is c and d respectively and these two angles as per the question are making complementary so you can take if like d is the alpha so this will be 90 minus alpha you can say or you can say any of the angle theta beta whatever okay and we have to find out here the height of the tower which is a b b hat okay so let me explain you now this question because we have the uh, figure which is properly done okay so now students first of all we are going to take the triangle which is of a c b okay so is in the triangle in triangle we'll take a c b so is in a c b by taking tan of 90 minus alpha so 90 minus alpha will be z equal to so that's of course the perpendicular which is of ab here and then base which is of uh, cb okay and that will be further z equal to of h upon 4 okay which is of tan 90 minus alpha okay and you know tan 90 minus alpha can be written as cot alpha so cot alpha will be z equal to h upon 4 so let's say this is equation number 1 right so now students we are going to take the triangle which is of adb so in triangle now in triangle adb so we'll write here adb so at this time we'll take ten, tag, take again tan so tan alpha will be z equal to that is ab which is of h and the base which is of bd so that is having unit that's basically 16 meter Okay, so let's say this is equation number 2. So when you multiply both the equation instruments, so after multiplying equation 1 and 2, so cot alpha into tan alpha is in the left hand side. So that will give you h upon 4 into h upon 16, right? So after multiplying because you know tan and cot both are reciprocal to each other, inverse to each other. So this will cancel and give you 1 here. And this will become as h square upon uh, 64. So h square will be z equal to of 64 again. And is in this way h will be z equal to of under root of 64. And that will be z equal to uh, 8, right? So 8 is 64. So is in this way, students, you can see the height of the tower, which is of uh, 8 meter, right? So I hope that is in this way. You all have understood this question now. And that's all about this question, students. So Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.